Today I have some yogurt that sat that I made yesterday again. And I'm gonna drain the yogurt, put it in container, and let it sit overnight. With that being said, the way that yogurt does, it kind of stinks. When you make it, it doesn't smell too pleasant. So I'm gonna sterilize that crock pot. Thank you, baby. That's my pop tart. But I'm going to sterilize that crock pot. So I'm gonna show you how I sterilize it, how I clean it all out, get rid of like all that extra funk. The, oh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment to this video, or well, to my channel. And uh, I'm going to be doing Instant Pot recipes. Today's the 28th, so hopefully the crock pot's here, or the Instant Pot's here today. Now, I rinsed this out. I know I can get some of this off of the edges by, like, wiping it down. But it was milk, and I don't want the milk smell to stay. But as you can see, it kind of burnt on there just from where the milk heated up, and then it leaves like this really nasty residue. And I know when I go when I clean this, that's gonna still be on there, and then like those spots, and this and all is gonna be on here. I just want to get rid of like all of it, sterilize it, sterilize the lid. Um, just get rid of that like funk smell to me it's like a funk smell like it don't bother me kind of smell but it's the fact that it's like yogurt and it's got like that pungent smell because it's the milk and anything dairy like that will make me sick to my stomach because I am lactose intolerant now I do make yogurt for the kids and my grandparents and you know people in my family so that's that's not the problem and I will eat yogurt the only thing that I did wrong was I we bought the Greek yogurt not thinking that it was the plain um, lactose intolerant yogurt and I just went ahead and did it with regular milk now if you're gonna do this you can use almond milk you can use like a lactose free milk it's no big deal you can use soy milk um, I just I want to do something easy and simple that the kids are gonna eat and be done with it so I'm gonna go ahead and get this over to the crock pot and see what we do okay I have my crock pot in the here in the crock pot you just need water, dish soap, and vinegar for this step, and this is what you're going to put in the crock pot, and I'll show you how to do that. I am just going to pour some soap. I like to do the soap first, and I'm just going to do about a teaspoon or so. I could scrub the inside of this before I even washed it, but I have really low energy. I woke up today. I've been hurting. My arms are weaker than what they should be um, and my disability is just really getting me today but I'm just showing you the easiest way to get your crock pot super clean squeaky clean with less amount of effort for those who have disabilities who have trouble doing things and even if you don't have a disability and you want to see your crock pot clean boom I'm showing it to you guys but next I'm going to take you can take however much vinegar there's no big deal. But I put about a cup in there. A cup or so. I, that's the vinegar I put in there. You can put however much. It doesn't matter. I, like, I just like to fill the bottom of the line. The bottom of the um, rim line. And what I do is I just take some water. I like, I try to fill the crock pot halfway up and I'll show you why. Okay. I'm going to fill it up to here so far and then I'm going to mix it up. Next. What I do, I put the lid on, put the lid on. The lid needs some TLC too, it's, it's seen better days. I am not going to clean the outside, I'll show you how to clean the outside in another video. But I'm just going to put the lid on. Plug. 
Ugh. See, like, I'm having a hard time turning things today. Plugged it up. Oh, no. Abra, I'm going to set this on high. For three hours. You can do two hours on high or three hours on low, whatever. But I just, I always do three hours on high because then it really boils the, it really boils it and sanitizes it. And at that point, it like the steam and everything is all the way at the top and it just makes everything a breeze to wipe off. That's what I found to really work when I have the crock pot, especially my crock pot because my crock pot's a little bit different. So I will come back in three hours and show you how this works. All right, we have 24 minutes left, and I will show you what it looks like. I did add a little bit of water, and I added an extra hour on because it was really caked on there. Oh, buddy. But, see this spot? Ouch. It's hot, but it comes off. So I'm just going to let it finish up. It got all of that gunk off of there. I'm sitting here. I just made Mason some ramen noodles and I just got out of my mouth not even a minute ago if he wanted the water in it or not. And he is out like a light. He must have been tired. Poor thing. I just wanted to note that anytime I do this uh, soap and vinegar and water and I boil it, everything comes right off. As you can tell, I'm not really having that much of a difficult problem with it. But my arms are really weak today, like I said. So I added just a little bit of comment just to help break it off even more. That way I can just wipe it off with ease. And you will see that here. And that's it you don't ever really have to use comment but if you have really weak arms like I do this makes everything a breeze and comment just helps clean it even more and it gets it to break off right away so if you see that I use comment in here or Ajax comment just know that I'm not cheating to you or lying it's just I had to use it because my arms are really really weak and, but it will come clean without the comment That's it. Done. Easy. Um, my arms are hurting me a little bit more than today, but it came right off. It's just my arms are really weak, and after picking that up, it didn't help it. So I just added a little bit of comment. Um, well, I dumped it out, added a little bit of comment, and just wiped it. It, it helped. It, it helped me, but you don't have to use comment. It comes right off right away, and I will vouch because that's how I always do it. The only time I use comment or Ajax comment is when my arms are hurting me really bad. So, yeah. That's why I did comment, but nine times and out of ten, nine and a half times out of ten, you don't need comment. Like I said, I just needed it because my arms are killing me today. But, super simple, super easy, done, boom, done. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up hit that red subscribe button hit that bell button so you see more of me instant pot videos will be coming soon i just found out that my instant pot is in illinois uh fairfield illinois and it should it's about three and a half three and a half hours away from where i live so hopefully it's here tomorrow i'm excited i can't wait and i will catch up with you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching and have a great blessed day Scripture of the day, look up Psalms 118.24. Alright guys, bye.